So we got an update about Keegan-Michael Key and Jordan Peele, the two actors who played Ducky and Bunny in Toy Story 4, and it may have just confirmed what the involvement of these characters really are in Toy Story 5. So I'll be reading the story, giving you my thoughts, and then giving off my predictions as of their involvement in this film. Keegan-Michael Key says he and Jordan Peele don't see each other much anymore. Our evolution, I think, is both tied to what our desires are. His desire is wanting to explore the horror genre, and my desire was to do more dramatic work like I was trained to in school. Now before I really talk about the story here, please comment below whether you think these characters will be in the fifth film or not. That is the main question of today's video. Do you think Ducky and Bunny will be in Toy Story 5? Please comment that all down below and please make sure to subscribe. Now first off, I'm very happy for both of these guys. I mean, Jordan Peele has stopped acting for good, I think, and he has become a director. An amazing director of that. I've seen his movie Us and Nope, and I really love those movies, and I was actually on the set of Nope back in Universal Studios, and that was a lot of fun seeing that. And Keegan Michael Key, I have never seen him do dramatic roles before. He has always been an extremely comedic and hilarious actor, and the fact that he's going to do more dramatic roles, that gets me excited. But where does this come into play with Ducky and Bunny? Well, they said that they don't really see each other much anymore, and those two actors were the core of what made these two plushies so memorable in Toy Story 4. It was their banter and their fighting that made them so amazing. And plus the comedy too, because both these guys are hilarious. So if they aren't really seeing each other much anymore, and they have different paths in their lives in the future, then do I think Ducky and Bunny will be in Toy Story 5? Well, unfortunately, no. It feels like there's a lot of things that are gone from Toy Story 4 and Toy Story 5. Bo Peep doesn't seem to be here this time, from the concept art we have seen, Woody is somehow back in Bonnie's room, and now Ducky and Bunny will just be gone in this with no explanation? The only thing that really they carried from Toy Story 4 to Toy Story 5 was that Jesse still has Woody's badge. Woody still doesn't have a badge, and he definitely will not have his pull string, which will kind of make him have like a slight bit of a different look from the previous films. But I'm also worried that they're trying to make Toy Story 4 pointless. I know there's a lot of people that hate Toy Story 4, but look at the people that actually love Toy Story 4. Maybe see some of the criticism, but don't completely erase everything. I understand why these characters won't be in the fifth movie, because of these two actors not seeing each other much anymore, but I feel like this also is kind of a pattern, showing that they're trying to make Toy Story 4 pointless, or they're just trying to redo everything that they did in that movie, which please do not do that. So yeah, Ducky and Bunny will definitely not be in the fifth movie, which again will make me very sad because I would have loved to see these characters continue on their story. But how will they explain how they are just suddenly gone? Well, maybe they just finally found another kid, or maybe they went on their own journey. But in previous Toy Story movies, toys going missing and then we don't see them for like 20 years with no explanation. Maybe Keegan-Michael Key and Jordan Peele come back for Toy Story 6, which I hope is not a real thing, but I feel like it is going to happen. Or maybe Ducky and Bunny just never come back to Toy Story at all, and they just kind of get forgotten like, again, the peas in a pod, or some of the other characters from the previous movies. Now some of my other predictions is that I don't think Ducky and Bunny are the only characters that won't return. I actually don't think Duke of Boom is going to return, and I don't think characters like Giggle McDimples may return either. I just feel like those actors may be too busy with other things, especially Keanu Reeves, who is doing Ballerina, and then he also has John Wick 5 as well, another fifth installment alongside Toy Story 5. Now, as someone that absolutely loves Toy Story 4, and people that absolutely hate Toy Story 4 will disagree with me on this, but please, not only do not erase everything from Toy Story 4, but at least keep some of the characters here still. If the actors can't come back, well, that's unfortunate and pretty sad, but I at least want an explanation of why these characters won't be in the movie. Don't erase everything from Toy Story 4. Make Toy Story 5 feel like an epilogue to Toy Story 4, which Toy Story 4 felt like an epilogue to Toy Story 3. I mean, hopefully this is the last film of the franchise until they bust out Toy Story 6, which I think is going to happen. God, that sounds so crazy, but who knows, maybe Pixar will call these two goobers and be like, hey, we want you to come back for this film, and maybe Ducky and Bunny will come back, but I think it's very unlikely at this point. So yeah, if Ducky and Bunny and some of these other characters will not come back in Toy Story 5, how will you feel about it? 
please comment that down below. Of course, subscribe to my channel. There will be plenty of Toy Story 5 videos for the next couple of years. I will continue to update you guys, give you guys more predictions, and give you more theories as of what I have for the movie. But as of right now, I don't have much right now to say other than just this. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you guys all next time, and you guys all have a great day.